Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Smart Point Learning series by Travelport Central and West Africa. In this video, we will learn about how to create a booking file in Smart Point. There are basically five mandatory fields of the booking file which can be entered in any order. We can understand them by using a simple word which is P R I N T print so here you may see P means phone field R means received from field I means itinerary N means name field and T means ticketing arrangement field as we have already understood in our previous videos that how to create an itinerary in smart point so here we will quickly perform an availability search and sell seat to create an itinerary So here we have created an itinerary. Now another field is name field. It is mandatory for a booking file to have names. So here I will show you how to enter names for different passenger types. As you can see we have sold two seats out of which one we will assign to an adult and another seat will be assigned to a child. And I think you are already aware that infant does not occupy seat. So we will still enter its name which will attach to adult. So the format to enter name of an adult is N which represents name then a dot and after this last name of passenger slash first name of passenger if you want to add any title like mr mrs that you can add after first name like i can write here mr or if i want to write mrs then mrs after this to enter a child's name we will write n dot child's last name slash first name star p hyphen c where c represents that it is a child after this we will write the age of child let's say nine years so we will write zero nine for an infant the format will be n dot I where I represents infant slash its last name slash its first name star then its date of birth now we will go to our terminal and enter passenger names using these formats So as you can see, we have successfully entered an adult's name, a child's name and an infant's name. And while typing these entries, if your entry is correct and if system accepts it, then it will show 
a star sign in front of the entry and after that you can see that name here which you have just entered one more thing while entering the date of birth for infant always keep in mind that it should be in this format date then month and then year and we do not write the complete year rather we just uh, type its last two digits now another two fields are phone field and ticketing arrangement field by default we save this information in your agency file and all you will have to do is just type cm slash to import your agency phone number and ticketing information and booking file so here you can see phone field which is going to contain the phone number of your agency and in this field you can see ticketing arrangement data if you are supposed to enter this information manually then the format will be p dot city code let's say abidjan t which represents that it is a telephone number then star and after you write the number and press enter so as you can see here this phone number has been entered here with the city code abidja the same way if you want to enter ticketing arrangement field manually then you will have to type t dot t star I am not typing here as it already exists here in this booking file. Now let's talk about the fifth and last field which is received from field. Whenever a booking file is being created, it is mandatory to provide the reference of that person who is creating that booking file. So the format is R dot your name you can write complete name or just the first name it's your wish or else you can put the initials of your Galileo signature like mine is LM so R dot LM after this type enter then just write ER which means end transaction and redisplay the same booking file. This command will basically end your booking file creation process and it will display you the same booking file. Now, as soon as we are going to type it, it will complete our booking creation process and here you can see that the booking file has been successfully created and this is the Galileo reference of this booking file which is generated by the system when we perform ER to end transaction. So this is how a booking file is created in SmartPoint. I hope that this video was helpful enough to make you understand this topic. Thank you so much for watching it and keep practicing what you have learnt in this video and other videos of our series.